Hi again, I'm Stephen Wessner, CEO of Predictive ROI. Still a breezy day here in Wisconsin. So for this conversation, I wanna go through and review that in my opinion, now after interviewing almost a thousand business owners, three of the success habits that I see stick out, I see these commonalities stick out across many of the business owners, certainly the super successful business owners that I've had an opportunity to sit down and have a conversation with. So I wanna give three of them to you. There's certainly more commonalities than just these three, but I wanna keep this brief and short. So the first one is, it's astonishing how awesome the super successful business owners are at both giving and receiving feedback. And oftentimes it's not super awesome feedback. It sometimes it's those difficult conversations. This is something that I have personally had to learn over the last several years, and it's been hard as far as you know, giving the feedback in a way that you do that, in, in a way that doesn't you know, negatively affect your team, right? I've had to learn more patience and more poise and more tact in being able to do that in a much more effective way. And then also in receiving feedback. I mean, heck, if you sat down with some of the members of my team, my leadership team, Catherine Bessler and Eric Jensen, uh, on my leadership team at Predictive ROI, they would tell you that three years ago, Stephen, not awesome in being able to receive feedback. What would happen? I would get defensive, I would get argumentative, I would sometimes even get combative as far as you know, verbally and back and forth in like this sparring match. Not ideal, that is not a habit of success. And so this is something that I have personally tried to work at really, really hard. And when I think about these thousand business owners, the top business owners in this country, that they all give and receive feedback around these difficult conversations exceptionally well. They are so awesome at it. So if you're looking for one of the success habits that I have noticed across super successful business owners, how you give and receive feedback is something you definitely want to master. So what's the second one? The second one is they are an exceptional mentor to others Right, so they look at their teammates and, and how they can be, how can they show up in such a way that is really helpful to the teammates on their team and helping them grow and develop and prosper, you know, helping them on a career path. They take mentorship very seriously, growing the ranks, growing the team within their company. So it is not about a power position, they keep this pocket of knowledge and they keep that protected and they're the only one in the business that can do that. Instead, no, they look at it as a way to, how can they get everything possible out of their head, out of their best practices? How can they teach and mentor their team in the best possible way? There's absolutely no ego in it at all. So they are super, super focused on being an exceptional mentor. So that's number two. So the third success habit, in my opinion, is actually an unbiased, non-emotional, quarterly review of the success metrics. And, and here's what I mean by that. Being able to sit down with your team and be able to identify, okay, this is where we are for the quarter. This is where we are for the year, like multiple quarters put together. So at the end of second quarter, this is where we are year to date. And we're either above tracking with our goal, we're either above our goal, tracking with our goal, or we're below our goal. And then realize that it's not about blame, that it's not about, well, why didn't you do your job? It's not about that. It's about understanding what the success metrics are, where they are in progress against those goals, and then being able to decide as a team, okay, we're gonna have to make these types of adjustments if that goal truly was important. And, and my guess is it would have been important, otherwise you wouldn't have set that as a goal. But being able to know your numbers and being able to review those on a quarterly basis in a non-emotional, unbiased way and then make the courageous decisions that are required and sometimes you might have to pivot 180 degrees. Maybe it's only 30 degrees or maybe not at all. But the key is, is that you have to be able to make those courageous decisions and the super successful business owners are the ones who are able to look at the numbers, say, hmm, this is not what we wanted, and then be able to make the decisions and course correct before they get to the end of the year and say, well, we didn't hit our target at the end of the year. That doesn't do anybody within the business any good. So I hope that that was helpful. 
as you look to double down in 2019. If you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, please do click the little subscribe and then the bell next to it so you get our notification every Thursday when we air a new video. And please give me your comments below. You know, your feedback helps me get better each and every week. So until next week, double down and onward with gusto.